So it's coming up towards the end of May 2020. Like most UK and Irish small to medium sized businesses, we at Accounting Insights have also been suffering during this coronavirus pandemic. Existing projects have been going more slowly, prospects have been deferring decisions, and the general volume of sales inquiries is down. But, as I would say, never let a crisis go to waste. Something we have done as a side project over the last number of weeks is develop an automated Power BI reporting solution for Sage 50 that will help our target customers weather the storm. The logic is very simple. If we can help you survive the coming months, then there'll be more of you around in the future to become our customers. The solution we've developed is an automated accounts receivable solution, and it uses a new free version of our Sage 50 Accounts Power BI connector. And on top of that, then we've built this accounts receivable template that you can use as is or customize to meet your own particular needs. Let's take a look. It's a relatively simple two page report, but it's actually packed with information. As I say, sitting behind this is standard Sage 50 accounts data. And we have two pages. The first page we're looking at is designed to give you a bird's eye view of the profile of your debt position within the company. And the second page takes a deeper look at individual customers. So on this first page, in the top left hand side, we can see the traditional 30, 60, 90 day view. What's within due, what's overdue. And we look at it within the classic periods of 30, 60, 90 days and so on. And also by aged weeks to give you a kind of closer to hand view of your debt profile. On the top right, we track a number of key performance indicators, such as the total amount outstanding, the amount overdue, your overdue ratio, your day sales outstanding or your debtor days, as well as weighted averages, such as the weighted average age of your debt. And in the far top right, we've used a little bit of intelligence to estimate the receipts that you should expect this month. And that's based on the, your current debtors, as well as the average time it takes for each of those debtors to pay and it gives a prediction for the receipts for this month. And against that prediction, it tracks how well you've done. So what we're looking at in this example, we're showing estimated receipts of 197,000 for the month. And so far we've collected 140,000. The bottom left of the page is intended to show you the distribution of your debt by customer. So what we've done is we've divided the customer base into the top 10 debtors and others and then we've color coded them based on the weighted average over due days for the customer. So red is bad, green is good. And the size of the box reflects the overall debt. So what we can see in an instant is that a little bit under half the total debt sits with 10 customers and that by and large, the position of most of those customers is pretty good with the exception of one point to chemists where we have weighted average over due days of 429 days. But conversely, we can see that we've got just over half the debt is made up of 116 customers with quite significant weighted overdue days of 45 days. Information like this you can use to help guide your overall collection strategy. In the bottom right, we have a list of customers, their current balance, and how much of that balance is within due and how much of it is overdue, because of course that balance may be made up of multiple invoices. We've also got a couple of warnings. One of the warnings here we see is that 89 of the customers in the database have unallocated credits worth 80,000 pounds. And basically what that means is that there are a number of credits being applied to the customers that have reduced the customer's balance, but they haven't reduced the balance of the outstanding invoices. So some of the outstanding amounts on the invoices for these customers are overstated. We also see warnings that 10 customers are overdue their credit limits. So let's take a look at the detailed view. And the idea of this page is to help you drill down to look at an individual customer. By default, without selecting any particular customer, we're still looking at the entire customer base. And we can see the overall balance of the customers trending down over time. Now, this might reflect reduced sales or not, but we've got the overall balance trending down. And we can also see current outstanding invoices by due week with zero with the current week, as in this week. So we can see we've got Four weeks from now, we've got a big lump of invoices becoming due. We can see that there's 14,000 pounds worth of invoices due this week. On the left at the bottom, we've got a list of customers with the balance and the within due and overdue amounts. And if we select any particular one, say I select Altrinum Chemist, then the entire page is then filtered by this chemist. It shows how the customer's balance has changed over time. It looks like two or three invoices there since earlier on in May to give a current balance of just under 10,000 pounds. If we look at the 
outstanding by due week, we can see that all of that debt is due in four weeks' time. It's made up of three invoices. Here are the invoice dates and the invoice numbers. And if I select one particular invoice, then I can see all the line items that actually make up that invoice. So that's a very quick tour of our new free accounts receivable solution for companies that use Sage 50. And if you'd like to get started with this, all you need to do is follow the link at the bottom of this video.